case you didn't notice, 9-11. Never forget. Certainly our memories, condolences to those who were adversely affected by what happened on 9-11. Whenever I think of 9-11, I always think of my two brothers-in-law who were New York City firefighters. And I used to joke with them that, you know, you guys just sat around firehouse and you made meals and watched movies and occasionally you'd uh, get out on the truck. And then all of a sudden, 9-11 happened. And that stopped. And then going to a couple of funerals, they, they were... Uh, they would bring in firefighters to go to funerals. They had to, they had to fill up, you know, the churches. They wanted people there for uh, some of these funerals that happened. And, you know, there's some people that they weren't sure who died. And uh, my, my member, uh, I remember one of my brothers-in-law said that, you know, he had to go down to the pile and that entire day, nine 11, we couldn't get in touch with either one of them. There was no cell service. And I think it was around 10 o'clock at night. My wife got a call from one of her brothers and he didn't realize that we had been calling all day and all night because we just didn't know. We didn't know. There were so many firefighters who went into the World Trade Center. And that's when you know you got heroes. When you go in, when everybody's coming out, you're a hero. And to go to one of those funerals, and you had firefighters from all over, certainly all over the East Coast who came in for these funerals. And it was as somber a moment as I've ever had in my life where you have the fire truck, the Dalmatians on top, and you have all of these firefighters dressed in their blues. Man, oh man, is it powerful. So don't lose sight of that. And certainly people who are still dealing with this, who went through this, who lost loved ones today, do not remember, or do not forget them. Please remember them. 